Good morning. I am up on day four of the Booktubeathon. Yeah. Day four. I think it's the third. That doesn't sound right. I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to read. Yeah, I think that's right. So I have three days left to read. Days four. Yeah, that math good. Mud math good. I finished the bell jar yesterday. Five stars. Still my favorite book of all time. I love it. Um I really relate to that book and in my depressive state right now I relate to it even stronger. So Yep, that is my normal thing. I've been thinking about it and I think the Otesha Mastic book Rest and Relaxation, my year of rest and relaxation, is going to be going on my favorite books of all time shelf. I think. I've thought about it a lot and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it is my favorite book of the year. Um, it did outdo Almost Love, which is by Louise O'Neill, who I love, and it's still one of my favorite books of the year, and it'll still be on my top ten, but it it went down a notch, which is kind of sad, because I was pretty sure that was going to be my favorite. Because I really related to that one, too, but I relate to my year of rest and relaxation more. Um, so, let's see. I've read Troublemaker and Brain on Fire and my year of rest and relaxation and the bell jar so i've read four books in four days and now i have three books left which i could technically read one each day and that would be fine but two of them are tiny 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 and i could finish both of these today which would mean I would have time for another book. I'm tempted, but I don't know what book I would read. Um, probably a thriller, because I've been really enjoying thrillers. April got me into them. I blame April, because now I'm buying a thriller at least once a month. But... Yeah, um, yeah, I could fit another thriller in, and that would be eight books in seven days. Is that too overachiever? It might be. It might be too overachiever. But I have the time to do it, so I feel like I might as well. If that was the case, I might read the thriller today and then read the other three books in the next two days. What book would I read? I finished Sharp Objects, which I adored. I'm going to talk about that more on my channel, but I adored it. Um... So that was nice. I have Final Girls, Snapped, Snap, and The Hypnotist. And then I have another one that I asked April if she wanted to buddy read, and she said she would if she could get it. So I'm not going to read that one without her. I can wait as long as I want. I have so many books. So many. I could also read Unbury Carol, but that one's a little long. Mm. Well, I'm going to go away and think and figure out what I want to read, and then I will report back with how far I am and what I'm doing. So I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I decided to read these two. Um... Shirley Jackson, The Missing Girl, and Mathilda by Mary Shelley. 
I have finished Shirley Jackson, The Missing Girl. It's so short that I feel wrong really talking to you about the premise. But what I will say is I've, I've come to this decision that Shirley Jackson, for me, just for me, is a guaranteed um, writer. So I usually rate her books within, usually, four to five stars. I've had a couple of three stars, and those are few and far between. Usually they have to do with short stories because I, while I love her short stories most of the time, there is a fair amount of some short stories that I just don't appreciate um, or I didn't like and that usually bumps it down. But as far as her novels go, I really like her novels and I feel like she is a solid thriller writer. Um... I don't know if I'd call her horror because I don't I don't see her as a horror writer but I see her as a thriller writer anyway this was decent four stars I'm pretty happy with it um, now I'm gonna read Mathilda by Mary Shelley I'm I don't know it's gonna be interesting because this is a story about I believe a father-daughter relationship. Um, I and I think it's I think it's incest, and that could go really badly for me. Um, I don't have an experience with incest, so there's that. But any relationship where power is abused um, feels somewhat triggering to me so we'll see how I feel about it um it's Mary Shelley so it'll be written pretty well I'm sure um but I'm I'm nervous I'm nervous to read it I feel very nervous to read it but um I'm gonna try so I will talk to you soon okay so we are DNFing this. Um, I'm going to keep it on my shelves. It's good writing. Um, but right now it's too uncomfortable. Um, I can deal with a lot. But the obsession that the father has with his daughter is its too much. I can't handle it. So, I need to pick another book, and I don't know what challenge that was for. It's not the hat one, because I'm not doing the hat one. Maybe it was the hat one. Green cover. Book to movie. coin toss, wear a hat, beautiful spine, and an extra. So it was to wear a hat. It was the yeah, wear a hat challenge, and I'm not wearing a hat, so we just got to find another book. Um, what do I want to read? So... Uh, La di da di da. I could read The Mother of All Questions, which is on my TBR anyway, but I'm not really in the mood. I'm really not in the mood for that book, period, so I'm having trouble with that. The Water Cure? Should I read The Water Cure? Um, Final Girls. Do I feel like reading a thriller? Sight. West. Humdiddle. 
Mm. Oh my god, it's so hot. Okay. I could read the refrigerator monologues like I was planning to do in the first place. Mm. Choices. Well, I'm going to go pick a book. I will let you know what I pick in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I'm going to read I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. This is my answer. It's 210 pages, so I can do it pretty quickly. Um, and it's a thriller, so I feel like it'll be fast paced. Yes, that is my answer. And if I go a day over, it's fine. I have one other book to technically read and I have two days to do it. So three days to do it. So I'll be fine. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll be good. So no stress here. Um, I mean, there is stress, but you know what I mean. I, I have to be honest, I am in a terrible reading slump after this. Like, I'm not, I'm not bad. Like, I was fine with the bell jar. The bell jar was fine. But like, Everything else just feels not as good. And I don't know what to do. So I'm just reading to kind of read. And if it wasn't the readathon, I would take a couple of days off. But because it's the readathon, I feel required to keep reading. Um, just because that whole challenge of getting seven books done in seven days, I feel very strongly about that. I feel very strongly about that. And I'm determined to get it done. I have very few things I feel I accomplish in my life and if I can accomplish that I will feel much better. Um, yeah. So we'll see how this goes if it triggers me or causes anything. I'm wondering if I'm thinking of ending things has to do with suicide or the end of a relationship. Either way, it's going to be hard. I could pick something easier, but... Maybe I'll just read the Harry Potter book I was reading. I could finish that in two days. You're just watching my thought process. Yeah, I think I'll read Harry Potter. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I know it and I'm comfortable with it. I think I'm going to skip I'm thinking of ending things. And I'm going to read Harry Potter. That feels like a better option. <laughs> now do that. This is. Whoop. This is my pile of books that I read. For the end of this month. So. It's been a thing. I've been reading all of the Harry Potter books and The Girl Who Circumvented Fairyland, and I will do a video talking about why I reread those books at some point. So, yeah, we'll do this. Half Lead Prince. It's chunky, but I can do this in two days. No problem. All right. That is what I will do. I'm going a totally different direction than what I was thinking originally, but that's fine. I'm okay with that, and I think this will be fine. All right, I will talk to you soon. So, we have had an adventure. Um, I lost time, um, which is something that happens with my disorder. And I just kind of did a couple of things that were a surprise to me. Um, so, yeah, um, I've gotten to about 420 in this book, page 420. Um, I think I read some when I was not present. So, I'm not lost because I've read it so many times, but I'm 
I'm a bit frustrated. Um, yeah. Um, so I, I lose track of time when I'm stressed. Um, or overwhelmed or emotionally drained. Or, or things that would usually... You'd, you'd just kind of push through. Um, so I didn't... I don't think I vlogged while I was out of it. But if I did, I don't think I'll put that in the vlog. Um, just because I... I am still not comfortable showing my parts on this channel, um, at least not actively. So there's that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, I had already started this book before the Booktubeathon. I was about 123 pages in. So I've only read about 300 and some odd pages. Um, and there's 600 pages to this book. So I've got about 200 more to go. I might just hold off and read tomorrow. But probably not. I'm probably going to keep reading. Um, I should eat something though. Because I only ate breakfast. Which is a problem. Um, I should at least drink a boost. I have so much trouble with eating, guys. It's not even funny. But, um, okay. I'm going to go back to reading and eat something. And I will talk to you soon. I am stopping reading. <laughs> I've read about 500 pages today and I'm tired so I have Bob Ross on um, just to kind of mellow me out I'm hoping to talk to my best friend she lives in California in LA so she's at a three hour difference than me so I have to wait up to talk to her and I'm hoping to talk to her tonight um, yeah I've read most of this if insomnia kicks in I'll finish it but I'm hoping that my pill will take effect tonight and I won't have insomnia that's the hope um but yeah I think this is the end of tonight's vlog today's vlog and I will talk to you tomorrow bye hello everybody it is day five of the book tubathon <sighs> It is hot here. It is 80 something degrees. And we have the AC on. And I have finished Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. So I have one book left. And I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Whether I'm going to read my next book or I'm going to just take it easy today. I might take it easy today. Um, I'll probably read something, but it may not be that I read. I might pick up a short story collection. That might be what I do, which I wouldn't plan to finish by the end of the book, Tubathon. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I have already started to re reread my year of rest and relaxation. Um, and I was going to buy a signed copy from the Strand but I don't have the funds and they already sold out of it so if anyone knows any bookstores that have signed copies of my year of rest and relaxation let me know because I would pick that up in a heartbeat yeah so I think that's everything I will talk to you guys soon and I'll let you know what I do Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. It is day six of the readathon. I barely read yesterday. I finished Harry Potter and then I just kind of chilled. Um, I was not in the headspace to read, which happens. Um, I just wasn't in that mindset of sitting down and really zoning in and feeling 
immersed and you know I enjoyed the Harry Potter book gave it five stars um I definitely feel as if you know I got what I needed to get out of it and it was fine um but it just that was all I could take yesterday so that's what I went with but I've read six books so I'm on book seven and this is Rebecca Solnit the mother of all questions so this is my things I want to do which is get further in feminism I'm on page 125 it's good I like it um I do feel like there are some ideas that I already know um but overall I'm getting some new information which is what my whole point was so I'm happy with that um oh my goodness it is 11:54. I've been up since about 9 reading so yeah it's been about three hours of reading um I've had to stop a few times to go take care of my mom but that's about it um you guys can probably hear the fan in the background and I apologize for that but it is massively hot like intensely so there's that um I think that's all and I think I'm gonna go read and I will talk to you soon bye hey all right so I got my reading done today I did so I finished my seven books um, tomorrow I'll pick up something but I actually might pick up something tonight but I don't think I'll force myself to finish an eighth book I think I'm good with seven I'm okay with it um so finished the mother of all questions and I liked it um this was a gift from Sophie I think last year for Christmas yeah I mean I don't know I feel like I have so many thoughts on feminism and what it is and how it should be and then I think a lot of people have different views on feminism and what it looks like and how it should be and this this book was um pretty on par with my views but there were a couple of moments where I felt um I disagreed but not too many um I I think I'm gonna skip filming tomorrow for the last day of book Tubathon because I've read the seven books and I've done all the challenges except for wearing a hat. Um, yeah, I'll post on Instagram if I pick up another book, but I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna pick up anything else. Um, or that I'll read for another day. I will read tomorrow, but I don't know what it'll be. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll film tomorrow, but it won't be that long. And it'll just be a couple minutes probably. So I'll post it eventually, but like, I'm not too worried. But this video, um, I think I'm going to post tonight, the night before the Booktubeathon ends. Um... I also have my sister coming over tomorrow, not T, my biological sister. Um, and I like to spend time with her when she's here because I don't see her often. She lives out of state and so I miss her and I love that girl and I just want to see her. So if she's here tomorrow, I probably won't do much reading just because I don't see her very often and she is not one to be in the videos um that's never gonna happen but um yeah I feel pretty good about the book Tubathon. I read pretty hard when I was reading um today was pretty chill but 
today and yesterday were really chill. I, I wasn't as hardcore as I've been in the past, but I think that's because the first few days I did like two books in a day. And so I just kind of, actually there were a couple of days where I did two books in a day. Um, so I, I, I did some pretty hardcore stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble lately mentally. Um, my new meds are helping, but I'm having a lot of trouble with staying present and um, not switching. So there's that. Um, and that that just makes for harder days. Um, and there's nothing I can do um, except for my self-care exercises. And I just work on those every day anyway. But yeah, I think that's everything. And I am going to go now. And if I make a video tomorrow, I make a video tomorrow. If I don't, I'm not going to be too tense about it. But I will see you guys in my next video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.